Hello YouTube, this is Sonic the Hedgehog 100 bringing you a tutorial of how to put emulators on your Xbox without using the FTP program such as FileZilla or FlashFXP. What you're going to need for this tutorial, you're going to need a blank DVD or disc, just any kind of blank disc whatsoever, any kind of blank, buy these in the store or something like that. And you're going to need some programs. Some, some of you are familiar with the program Quix 101 or 101 or 1 1.1 or whatever and then you're also going to need a burning program the, be the best thing to use to make sure these things works you're going to use Nero Burning ROM 10 you can use a trial version or if you have like the multimedia suite use that version instead and then after all that you'll be able to play it on your Xbox without having FTP it and getting frustrated because it keeps saying that it can't connect to the server so let's begin okay the first thing you want to click on once you've downloaded like the Quix thing and the Nero thing or bought the Nero thing, whatever, you're going to click on the Quix when it's all in a folder. It should be in a folder. If it's separate and the RAR it's being extracted from, just double click it and then put it into a folder that you made called Quix 101. Or if it comes in a file, just put it in your laptop, double click, and you'll see an icon that says Quix. Just double click on that. And then it'll boot up to where it says load ISO, create ISO, manage title on Xbox drives or tools. This is the Quix, oh, uh, Quix program. Just uh, minimize this or something like that. Minimize that. And then click create ISO. Well, the first thing you're going to do on the sources where it shows the bubbles, do not fill any of these bubbles in, especially these two at the bottom. Do not fill those in. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to go to these three periods that are Oh, where's the mouse? Oh, there it is. Three periods that are right here on the source folder line. On the, so on the source folder line, or the local fo folder. Yeah, the local folder. You're going to click the three periods, and you're going to get a little screen that shows the things that are on your desktop. Or, yeah, desktop, separate files. You're going to click the plus on Xbox emulators. And, as you can see, I have plenty of emulators of my own. If you have like a Sega Genesis emulator or NES emulator, whatever, just don't don't press the plus button. Click Neo Geo CD if they come in folders, and then just click OK. You should see up here that it says um, desktop emulators or emulators Neo Geo CD. It should be coming from your C drive, or just like put it in or type it in or whatever like that. Bottom line, just find the file in the on the laptop and then just click when you've got it all on the on the line on the local folder line click create ISO it says where do you want to save it just click save it's gonna say well for me it says Neo Geo CD ISO already exists exist. this won't appear for you unless you have a second or unless you already have a first copy out so just click yes and what it's going to do is it's going to create an entire ISO of everything that's in the folder. Just be patient and wait, and it'll turn everything into an ISO. Sometimes it'll say progress not responding. Don't press any buttons when it says that. It'll immediately see it just jumps. So don't worry about that. That's normal for any computer. That's a Norcom. That's completely normal. And when it's done, it'll say ISO file created. Click OK and exit out of Quicks. Now, hold on, sorry. Now you're going to see a file up here if you extracted it to your desktop or wherever you want to put your Neo Geo CD ISO. ISO, you'll see it's saying Neo Geo CD right here. Now this is where the burning process comes in. What you're going to do is you're going to open up Nero Burning ROM 10. Double click on that. It's going to load, it's going to say Nero, and then it's going to ask you, usually it would uh, normally appear on the CD format, usually. You don't, want it, you don't want to do that. You want to see where it's up here, it says CD, click the down button, and it says DVD. Click on DVD. It'll say DVD-ROM. That's what you want. Now, don't do anything. Go down here. Well, like, don't do anything like up here or anything like that. Like, go down here and click Cancel. Let me zoom you out so you can see. And then click. And you like go up and go to file. 
just file click the button it says open click open and then it's going to ask you what are you trying to open up or what is the ISO that you're looking for press this button and zoom down with the or move down not zoom down and you're gonna come across one that says Neo Geo CD ISO just double click on that ISO double click and then it's gonna tell you what do you want to do but before before you do anything it's gonna say CD image just by default because the file is only 372 megabytes you're going to click on CD and click DVD the range of megabytes may differ depending on if you have if you put more emulators in the ROM folder now what you're going to do is make sure that your Xbox can read it much more better than it originally does or not at all what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck finalize disk now it'll verify the data when it says no further writing possible it'll verify the written data making it to where the Xbox can completely read it whatsoever now mine says 2.4 because I don't have a disk inserted when you put in a DVD it'll boot up and then it should say you'll be able to click the burn one if you don't it'll ask for a disk when you click burn just let it burn and just wait let it verify the data and everything and then when that's done just click just get out of there just click cancel and exit. Now I already have a Neo Geo CD emulator already burned. So one second, I'll show you how it works or just how, what you do. All right, um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's in the Xbox already. Okay. Now, one second. Now you're going to let's say you put in the disc, the Neo Geo, and then just turn it on. Since mine's already in there, I'll take it out so I can show you step by step. Okay, so as mine says, says Neo Geo CD emulator with a few ROMs. This is basically the entire folder as I got. I didn't put any new ROMs on there. So what you're gonna do is that if you have a dashboard, hold on, if you have a dashboard like this that says Evolution X, or if you have, if you installed a mod that says Evolution X, and it starts out with the most familiar da uh, dashboard. Hold on, let me switch it for you can so you can understand what I'm talking about. One second. this is what it should originally look like at very first and then you're going to click original and then it'll look like that but anyways let's get out of the dashboard thing and onto the main topic first of all oh here it is okay good now as we can see it says Neo Geo CD emulator with a few ROMs what you're going to do is just going to put it in just going to put it in like a normal game or DVD or whatever click the power click the um eject button it's gonna close and on and on the screen it's going to say int if you have this dashboard it says check in game when it reads that all you gotta do is since I'm in the dashboard thing I just gotta get out of there for one and then move up and it says play game slash media from DVD you're just gonna click a like any normal game it's gonna pop up it's gonna say evolution X if you have the mod if it doesn't it'll load differently and it'll just play it like a basic thing. Now, just click ISOs. If you click CD-ROM, it'll ask for an actual CD. You'll have to take out the disc. I believe it'll cut off the Xbox anyways, but that's what that's what it is. You have to take your original uh, Neo Geo CD and put it in there, and it'll work. Or you can just go to ISOs. Click on ISOs. It'll show you a list of the of the games that have been put into that folder. Just click A on that. It says loading CD. You're up. Since I just clicked on Bust a Move, it's going to say something totally different since it's in a different region. It's not really puzzled by something Bust a Move, but it's, like I said, in a different region. So just press Start on your controller, and you can have a level select and stuff. Click A. Easy. And just have fun with your emulators. Now, to be honest, the only emulator that I've tested that doesn't officially completely work is the Daphnex emulator. I may be wrong on that, but it doesn't work for me. So that's the tutorial of how to put emulators on your... Now, first thing, before, before I end, you cannot put the emulators onto your hard drive. You're basically playing the emulators right off the disk. There's no way to just copy them straight to the hard drive. So, that was the tutorial of showing you how to put emulators on a disc and just playing them in your Xbox. See you soon.